in the Peak District. Although the weather isn't too great today, it's a little bit spitty. My daughter, uh, I know, mate, wants to go to Orton Towers, so I, uh, I drove them there. Parked up at the Orton Towers car park. Ten quid a day. Rip off. And I thought, do you know what, I'll just uh, cycle from Orton Towers into the Peak District. Pick up the uh, Tissington Trail and the Manifold uh, Trail as well, which I think I'm on right now, actually. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, just go for a little mooch around, really. But, uh, yeah... A little bit hilly around Alton Towers, isn't it? <laughs> I always forget. Plenty of sheep around. Ah, sheepy. Come on, buddy. That's it. Good sheepy. Very pretty around here, though. Looks like we're going down and round. I'm doubling up on the GPSs today. I've got my uh, Karoo out, of course. And I'm still rocking the fantastic Velo 2, which, to be fair, I reckon is doing a really, really good job. Oh, can't grid. Oh. So this is obviously going to pick up the Tissington Trail. I think I'm going to be doing it in reverse. I'm going to be going from, what, Ashbourne, I think it is, all the way up north, and then not completing it but coming back down left and then hitting, I forget the name of it, I'll pop it on screen, the name I should be arriving in. But yeah, hopefully the weather holds off and it should be a really good day. It's warm, it's about 14, 15 degrees at the moment, so uh, I've got my legs out. Let's just hope the rain stays off, eh? Way to the Tissington Trail start, just up for a coffee and a pan au chocolat and a sausage roll. Got a backup Twix just in case I get a bit hungry halfway round. Yeah, but it looks really good though. And it's, uh, it's warmed up and brightened up a little bit as well, so this is really, really quite useful. Thank you very much, much obliged. It certainly is quieter on the uh, Tissington Trail today than the last time I came. The last time I came it was really, really quite busy, I think. A little bit windy, but uh, it's certainly warm. Trying to uh, settle back in on the bike for fitness as well, because um, I've got a couple of uh, training regimes I'm doing at the moment. At the gym, I do a couple of bits of uh, rowing, a lot of steam room. A lot of sauna as well. And something new I'm trying is uh, some, it's called EMS and it's electronic muscle, it's, it's basically electrocution. <laughs> you wear this, like a wetsuit, which is like an electric suit, and you do a, a workout and it electrocutes you basically. It does the muscles 
and there's definitely something in it it's zapping my energy <laughs> lots of zapping my energy lots I should say but I can feel that the muscles get in there so the muscles are getting better bigger stronger just haven't, uh, haven't got to the bit of recovery yet I think for that I've got a few more sessions to go with that so uh, I'll keep you posted hopefully that's gonna bump up my endurance so I can then do the 200 plus miles with a bit of luck anyway yeah try and think me Now, unfortunately, I picked a... It just feels like I'm going uphill on the Tissenton Trail, not downhill. I think it's a gradual up anyway, not far. But uh, my legs are knackered anyway. All right, it wants me to turn right here. Okie okay, So we're leaving the uh, Tissenton Trail behind. Going to do a sharp left and hopefully pick up the next rail trail rather soon. Right, make sure nothing's coming. All looks clear. All right, how long we got? 1.2. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm going back now and I've got another headwind. How <laughs> does that work? We've got a left turn coming up at about 350 metres. Not sure where it is. It's 280, 250, where is it? 200, here it comes look. This will be interesting. Uh, it's going to put me somewhere. Oh my god, it wants me up there. Sod that for a uh, game toy soldiers. Right, it looks like it wants me up here. Oh yeah, that'd be a nice turn in, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, let's get to the top of it. Oh, we're back into headwind again. What goes up must come down. There's your lane. What a glorious name that is. Uh, really? Looks like we're picking up the cycle network 549. All right, left turn. Uh... Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty. So, this is why we bring a gravel bike. <laughs> You'd be, uh, be a bit miffed if you're on the 28 C tyres on your racer. Well, I would be. This condition of the road. These are worse than Lincolnshire roads. Right, looks like we're going up slightly. 
And then it's a right at the top here. Yep. Where's that cycle thing? Aha! Five, four, nine. Whee! Look at that! That is a view, isn't it? Uh, looks like we've got a, a turn. Now is it this one? I think it is. Where are you taking me now? So this is part of the National Cycle Network still. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, have it. <laughs> Look at this. Where we got? Send me. We got a turn at the bottom here. Oh no, we've got a gate, which we're not going through. Well, down here. Oh, hello. This looks entertaining. Let's hope no one's coming. Five hundred odd meters. <laughs> oh, face full of bugs. <laughs> Now this is gravel. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. There to straight down. There we go, look, still on the old cycle thing. Yeah, this is brilliant. Uh, looks like we're going to the right. Across the bridge. Oh, I don't know about you, but that was probably one of the best downhill gravel sections I've seen for a long while. I think for this year, definitely. That was really good fun. I wouldn't like going up it, mind you. I think that would be absolutely horrible. So it looks like I've got 30 miles done. I've only got 16 and a half miles left to go. So at least eight of that is going, going back to Orton Towers. So another eight miles, so I must be on the, uh, I, think, I think the Manifold uh, Trail is only a small section, isn't it? Oh, I should really do my homework before I come out, really. Oh, a little bit of a rock garden, look. So it looks like we're still part of the 549. Quite lucky with the surface. I'd imagine if it's a bit, slight bit of moisture, this is all slop all over the deck, which would make gravel bike a bit tricky on some of that downhill section. Left the trail stuff behind now, onto single country lanes. <laughs> and we're going up for some reason. Only about 15.6 miles according to the Karoo. I'm sure that ain't right by the way, but we'll find out. Can't be that far away from the uh, from the actual trail itself. Right turn, Clyde. Dun da da dun. I think we're on the same 549 still. Well, uh, nothing coming. All right, so we want to be left at the bottom there. Hume end. And there you go. All right, 340 meters. Got to be here soon. What's this sign say? I can't see it yet. Hey, Manifold Valley Visitor Center. Now we're talking. All right, looks like we've got a left turn. 100 meters. 
It's got to be here, isn't it? Yep. All right. Indicate, left we go. It's the car park, it's got to be over here. Well, there we go, All right, so. Five, four, nine. This is what we want. Right, let's do it. Yeah, very pretty, very pretty. Do you know, I've been meaning to do this one for quite some time. Just never got round to it. It does feel a little bit more narrower than the rest of them. I quite like this. Very nice. Well, I don't like the uh, massive hill over there. just uh, flew over. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, most impressive so far. And even less busier than the Tissenton Trail. My crew wants to reroute me for some peculiar reason. I'm going to stick with this because I know it comes out. I know exactly where it comes out. So it's telling me poor because I think the crew is trying to get me on the road and off the trail. Thank you. Very pretty, I like the rock faces there. Wow, look at this. This is cool. All right, we're back on track on both of them now. So the Velo, Velo 2 is uh, 100 meters. 
Hey, mate, where are we going, sir? Where are you going? You're going up there, aren't you? Of course. Of course. Another stream. Oh, it's so pretty. Very nice. I oh, know, <laughs> it's going to the right. <laughs> it lies. I wonder if I can get the drone up there. <laughs> I might get sold off for that. Yeah, best not risk that one. I think we must be coming to the very end very soon. Well, thank you very much for watching today. We've enjoyed watching me in the Peak District today. It's been great fun. Weather started out a bit patchy, but uh, turned out good in the end, didn't it? Right, I won't film the last bit because it's just boring old big roads. And I'm sure you don't want to see haunted hours. So I'll bid you farewell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah, this is brilliant. <laughs>